You are warmly welcome on SRA TV Lab. Please, please like this video, place the subscribe and the bell so that we not miss out the next video. May God bless you. So ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to see the difference between skeletal, cardiac and smooth muscles. We are mainly going to focus on physiological differences. So let's start with what is a muscle? What does it help in our body? Actually, muscles are soft tissues to produce motion and forces. They are primarily responsible for maintaining and changing posture, locomotion, as well as movement of internal organs, such as the contraction of the heart and the movement of food through the digestive system through peristalsis. We have seen what a muscle is. Now the next step is to see the difference between three types of muscles. Those three types of muscles are skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, and smooth muscle. Let's start with the skeletal muscle. The skeletal muscle is first of all voluntary and it is attached to the bones or skin and the skeletal muscle is very long, it's cylindrical and multinucleated cells which means it has so many nucleus. Another thing is that the skeletal muscle is triated which means they are packed with ordinary arrangement of myofibrins. Even though the skeletal muscles are voluntary, they are not self-stimulating. Each fiber of the skeletal muscle is innervated by a branch of somatic motor neuron in what we call motor unit. This means that the skeletal muscle is under control of the nervous system. The skeletal muscle is of high energy requirement. That is why it has a lot of mitochondria, creating phosphate and myoglobin. The skeletal muscle contract very fast. Their contraction is not rhythmic and their strength increases with stretching. So the more you stretch, the higher they contract. And finally, the skeletal muscles fatigue very easily. So it's easy for skeletal muscles to get fatigue. So we have seen what skeletal muscle is all about. Now let's go to the smooth muscles. First of all, the smooth muscles are involuntary. This is the opposite of the skeletal muscle. Remember, the skeletal muscle is voluntary while this smooth muscle is involuntary. Where are the smooth muscles located? The smooth muscle lay in walls of most of the internal organs. So they are internal organs lining. Smooth muscles are single tapering cells with a single nucleus. Remember, the skeletal muscle was multinucleated cells but here it's a single nucleus contrary to the skeletal muscle the smooth muscle are not striated they are made of fewer myofibrils of varying length smooth muscles are self-stimulating not individually innervated so the impulse spreads from cell to cell not on a single cell. The smooth muscle is under control of nervous system, endocrine system, various chemicals and stretching as well. Smooth muscles require low energy. They have fewer mitochondria and their contraction is very slow 
and rhythmic in some organs. Like when producing peristaltic waves along organs. Remember, especially in digestive system organs where there is a peristalsis movement. So therefore, their contraction is rhythmic. Another thing is that the smooth muscle does not fatigue. So we have seen the skeletal muscle, the smooth muscles, and now let's see the cardiac muscle. First of all, the cardiac muscle is involuntary, the same as smooth muscles, and contrary to the skeletal muscle, which is voluntary. The cardiac muscles are only found in the heart, and the cardiac name originates from the heart. So that is why we say they are only found in the heart. When you hear cardiac muscles, understand that they are muscles within the heart. The cardiac muscles have branching chains of cells connected by intercalated discs and the cardiac muscles have single nucleus and they are striated as well. Having striation is a similar characteristic to the skeletal muscles. And having a single nucleus is a similar character to the smooth muscles. But remember the skeletal muscle have multiple nucleus or multiple nuclei while the smooth and cardiac muscles have single nucleus or one nucleus. Being striated means they have many myofibrils in orderly arrangement. And cardiac muscles are self-stimulating. The impulse speed from cell to cell. And they are under control of the nervous and endocrine system and various chemicals as well. And the skeletal muscles requires intermediate energy. You remember, the smooth muscles require lower energy. The skeletal muscles require higher energy, while these cardiac muscles only require intermediate energy. And they have intermediate speed of contraction, yet contraction spreads quickly through tissue due to what intercalated discs. And the cardiac muscle contraction is rhythmic. And cardiac muscle strength increases with what? With stretching. And at the end, we have to know that cardiac muscle never get fatigue. So, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope it's very helpful. So please, don't keep this information just with yourself. Share this information to your colleagues. And see you in another video next time. May God bless you abundantly. Please, please, like this video, place the subscribe and the bell so that we not miss out the next video. May God bless you.